right. Benny Snell Jr. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Mm. Now it's just going to depend on if the Steelers want to keep four running backs or not. Because he did nothing to beat out Belage or McFarland. Four running backs yeah. means another position that we've been talking a lot about a lot this offseason. Yeah. Is gone. I think in terms of depth. Well, there's cornerback, inside linebacker, outside linebacker, probably. I just don't know if the Steelers are doing that for four running backs. I don't either. Especially when you don't have four where you feel, okay, the talent here is just so greater than at linebacker, than at cornerback, than at DN. You know, like if we felt like that, then sure, you keep that extra guy. I mean, it's been times with the wide receiver group where we're just like, yo, they're just too stacked. You got to keep all of these guys. These five are so much better than this group right here that you make up for like that. With this running back group, Benny Snell doesn't do that to me. He doesn't make me feel like, hey, he's worth, okay, I was being short a corner. He's worth us being short maybe a safety. I just don't feel like his productivity this preseason in this training camp has warranted that i mean it's unfortunate because part of it wasn't his control i mean when you get hurt that's you know you can't help that it's just unfortunate timing but the reality is this was a huge opportunity for him this offseason and because of his uh, his inability to be available now we're stuck with him being the odd man out i mean it's unfortunate but that's just the reality of it man yeah that's how i view it yeah he had a nice run or two but other than that it was just blah and with the way that uh that Kalen Balaj had played this preseason, even his game wasn't the best yesterday. No, the not at all. The way that he played, though, like for him, this is where it benefits him of the accumulation, right? Because he's played really well in those other games. He's had really good training. He, I mean, his training camp, you can put it up there in terms of like top five, top 10 on the team of guys who really like lit it up and just performed well day in and day out. He's on that list. He would definitely be on that list. So that helps him largely because, like we said, yes, the performance wasn't good by him. It wasn't his best performance. But when you have all of this other recent productivity, recent good plays and stuff like that, you're able to say, you know what? This is outlier. This is a one-off. We've seen more than enough good from him. Manscaped. They get great respect. You know why they get great respect? Why is that? Because they're always perfect with the balls. You know that? They keep the ball smooth and flying the way they're supposed to fly, man. All right? And- just like that quarterback you were speaking of, who is very surgical with that rocket of an arm, and he can make that thing go where it needs to go. He understands the importance of this manscape action as well, because they are the leaders in below the waistline grooming. And we know that below the waistline grooming is very, very, very important, Deke. No pun intended there. So with that being said, though, can we talk about that performance package, the 4.0? I think so. Can we? Th- we got a little time. This is how they gained respect, right? This is actually coming how up they... with this type of innovation. I mean, technology, right? Lawnmower four point used to have a light, right? Remember that was the thing. Like, oh, can the light turn on and off? Though they improved it. The four point the light goes on and off. How can you beat that? But then you also got you know that crop because everybody got a crop, right? Especially us, man. We got to look. Got to have a little crop action. But you got a crop reviver, crop refresher. Keep it smelling ooey gooey, nice and sweet for all occasions. And you can't forget that travel bag. But more importantly, what you cannot forget is the promo code, which is Moats. M-O-A-T-S. 20% off of your ship, or excuse me, of your shipping, not even of your shipping. You get free shipping. 20% off of your purchase, though, which is more important because you got to make sure you purchase these items so you can get the free shipping. So make sure you do that. But use that promo code. And after that, man, your delicate twins and friends will be thanking you. <laughs> 